Hello, this is Anthony from ALJB Gaming, and I have an unboxing video for you guys. Okay, this is the new Galaxy GeForce GTX 670. Okay, it's brand new. It just came out not too long ago. It says two gigs of video memory, three-year extended warranty, factory overclock, and custom cooling, which is just dual fans, DirectX 11, SLI, PhysX. 3D vision. Okay, some of the requirements. Basically, we we are going to need a six-pin connector and an eight-pin connector. Also, 550 watt minimum power supply. So make sure your power supply supports it. And uh, you guys should be good. Okay, let's get this open. Oh, this is also a dual slot card. Right there. Open it up. Okay. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, this is just showing that you must register your product within 30 days in order to get the extended warranty, which is three years instead of two. Okay. And here's the card. Right there. GTX 670. Nice. Get this open. Check it out. Alright, there it is. Dual fans. Looks nice. Kepler GeForce GTX 670 by Galaxy. Very nice looking card. Check it out. This is a four display. It says four display ports right there. Um, Galaxy six pin and eight pin connectors. Um, SLI bridges. Let's see. PCI Express connector. So it goes in your computer motherboard. Nice looking card. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got here. Okay. This is just a six pin connector. This is oh, oh this is a six pin connector. This is the eight pin connector. Okay. This is just the uh, VGA display conversion adapter. And we got a user manual. Got driver installation disk for some software. Um, quick installation guide. Right there. simple okay and that's pretty much it let's check this out we're going to compare this to my other cards which I have two MSI GTX 275's twin frozer a little bit of an older card Basically, the size comparison, it's actually like maybe half an inch shorter, not too much. The width, it's about the same. It's pretty close. This is just, this part's just a little bit wider. Alright, and we are going to do benchmarking on this. We're going to compare these two cards versus just this single card. This is going to be SLI configuration. And we're gonna give benchmarks on like like The Witcher 2, um, Starcraft 2, Far Far Cry 2, um, Batman Arkham City, stuff like that. Nice cards. Okay. And uh, 
There's the uh, unboxing video. Okay, so we have the benchmarking results here. Um, first off, we have an i7-920 at 3.66 gigahertz. All these games were run at 1980 by 1200 resolution on the highest possible settings, except The Witcher 2. We put that on high. Um, Supreme Commander was on an eight-person map. Largest map we could go as well as StarCraft 2, um, Batman Arkham Asylum had quite low frames per second. I believe it's because we put the physics on the highest mode possible. Um, and I guess, you know, not too bad overall. The minimums were kind of low on some of them. And then let's compare it to GTX 670 minimum was a lot better on most of these you can see here the difference quite a bit except Batman Arkham Asylum the maximum it's not there's not a whole lot of difference except on Far Cry 2 but overall not bad and then the Average is where you see a nice increase as well. Not bad at all. Quite a bit. About 50 frames per second. That one's about 10, 30. Those are about the same on Arkham Asylum. The Witcher 2, nice little increase. And this was also on the high setting. So, there you go. Benchmark results, um, pretty impressed, nice increase, should add a lot of stability since it's not an SLI. Um, thanks for watching guys.